It's a fun game. You should play it. Thanks a lot. Cheers. No, seriously. It's really good. It's just good, solid fun. Cheers. Huh? Still here? Why? What's up? You want me to convince you or explain? But you've already made your decision deep down. You're only looking for justification of that decision, right? Okay, I'll do it just for you. Compound is a roguelike shooter, the levels are procedurally generated, there are a lot of weapons to unlock and a decent amount of enemy types. It uses an old-school 8-bit art style for a retro feel. Okay, so, do you like the footage? Yeah? Cool. Well, thanks again. <laughs> See you next time. Huh? Why is it fun? Well, that's up to you, isn't it? Fine. I'll tell you why I believe it's fun and why you should play it. You see, these days any hack can download a commercial game engine, toggle the sliders and tick boxes, then they can purchase ill-fitting pre-made game assets and AI from a store, blindly stitch those assets together with copy-pasted code to make a soulless Frankenstein's monster of a game that requires ten times more powerful hardware to run than it should. Please see the present Steam VR storefront for plenty of examples of this daily. Fun comes from the care, soul, and attention to the little details and respect for the player that are wrapped around a good core idea of what a game wants itself to be. Compound ticks all these boxes. There are many weapons, and they are fun to use. Why are they fun, though? Well, each weapon has care, soul, and fills its own specific role, which is expressed through their design, carefully chosen and satisfying sound effects, down to the small details of how they just slightly move appropriately when you reload them to create the feeling of weight and momentum, which we won't notice consciously, usually, but luckily you have me to tell you. Now you see, all this combines into a non-complex satisfaction and fun that is enhanced exponentially by being in VR. The 8-bit art style is a joy to look at through a VR headset. Before playing the game, I believed this style would look rubbish, but I was delightfully wrong. It's like a breath of fresh air for your eyes compared to typical VR visuals in other games. It's just so clean, simple, and sharp. Despite this, though, there is still a lot of care put into the designs, and so the look of the game itself adds to the fun and is pleasant to be around. The sound design adds even more to the fun. The synthwave soundtrack made by Speedblack, specifically for the game, is motivating, memorable, and very appropriate. The sound effects are punchy, crunchy, and varied enough to give impact to everything while still maintaining a charming retro style to them. So, do you get it yet? All these carefully considered, thoughtful things come together and create an experience that is more than the sum of its parts. It knows what it wants to be which is just plain fun for the player. Remember when games did this as standard? It doesn't try to manipulate or addict you through robotic progression checklists. 
It doesn't add hollow, distracting complexity to give the illusion of depth where there is none. It just wants you to have fun in a cool, well-realized experience. This is why you should play this game if you are in any way interested in the genre, or if the footage gives you that feeling. Just do yourself a favor and play using the old schooler mutator as soon as you're comfortable. Trust me on that one, trust me. It's our duty as players to support devs like the one that made this game. Devs who actually have talent, understand the little details of what makes an experience great and actually gives a damn about players having genuine fun and the integrity of the gaming art form as a whole. We as players, as consumers, send a message with our choices and that power is always with you, with us. So now that I've reaffirmed for you what your instinct already knew, 